What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode at the expansion team, the Saskatoon Stealth. We're continuing where we left off. 11-11-2. and two. We had a great start and then really fell off. And now we've made some trades, but I think it's time to make some more trades now. I really wanted to get a first out of Shattenkirk, but it's not looking like that's really going to be the biggest option here, especially as things start to change. So getting two seconds for him, I might have to settle for, but I can make him pretty good seconds. So before we go too much further, I think I want to check into that. And then we could also uh, be playing what's his name. Now we also have Ryan Miller, remember? Um, we'll probably try to hold on to this guy for a bit. Um, we could always trade him like deadline or something like that. I want to see Corpusalo grow. That's what I'm after. I want to see Corpusalo grow. And then if he does, we can make it Corpusalo and Subban or something like that. And then have a weird uh, <laughs> AHL. I might all probably have to sign this guy as Kravchenko guy and just throw him in there or something like that. A bit crazy, but hey, might have to do that. Okay, but yeah, I want to see Corpusalo grow a bit before I throw him into a starting role. And that's what Miller's here for. But because I still probably am going to trade him maybe at the deadline. Or something like that. Anyway, but first things first. Let's try to get something for Shattenkirk here. Maybe two seconds is the best we can get. So, I mean, what I could do is hold on to Shattenkirk and instead trade a guy like Ekholm or Myers and pretty much get a first. But they're a year younger. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but one year, man, could mean the difference between us being a cup contender, them declining or them not declining. So, um, let's try to find a team that's... Okay, Vegas wants them, but two seconds out of that is going to be pretty difficult. Although, I will look for it. I will try to see if I can get it. I might make them a really good team. They might just make the playoffs. Okay. So, second here. And then a second from the next year. Could we get... No, that's too much. Okay, too much from a team like Vegas. Okay. These guys, on the other hand, they want to give up that first, but... Oh, man, that would be so nice. That's way... That's so much, though. We'll probably make the, the thing about trading this is like we'll probably make them a better team and that'll actually be harder to get. So I kind of wanted to trade to someone who might be an in between type thing who's yeah, kind of like a risk uh risk trade almost like Nashville. Now I could make them better, sure, but Ooh, I could probably get their first from next year, but do I just want that? Mm, maybe not. I might have to just settle for like two seconds here, or a second and a third. What if I can get two seconds and a third would be huge. That's no way that's going to happen, but I might. Oh, I didn't remove that one. I can easily, easily get the second and a third. Maybe even get a, maybe a second, a third from this year, and then a third from next year. And maybe that's slightly better than two seconds. Might be. Although, maybe, two, nah, two seconds is still, I think, the better option. Yeah, let's try to get two seconds here. Let's see what kind of picks we have this next year. We already have two seconds. We could use another third, or we could just draft pretty heavily here in the second. We're going to have three seconds if we make this go through, and the next year, we're going to just have two. Uh, yeah, let me try to get two seconds for Shattenkirk. I don't know if it'll go through, and I'm going to retain as well because I kind of need to. And that might help him. Might help make that go through as... Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Shattenkirk, no, he's got multiple years left. Never mind, I don't really want... I would really rather not retain... Never mind. I know it's only three years, but still, I don't really want to be playing that. Okay, yeah. Not going to be able to get... Maybe not even going to be able to get two seconds here. I have to go for a team that's doing well right now to get those two seconds. Like, Dallas, for some reason, is doing pretty well. I can get their... I can get Dallas's first, actually. Maybe. They don't want to give it up. That's the only problem. Yeah, Damn. I would love to have gone for that. Hold on. Could I get a first from like a team who's doing okay? Probably not. Well, maybe from the Blackhawks. I mean, maybe. It's not going to be a great pick. Maybe from the Bruins here. Too many skaters, unfortunate. How about the Ducks? Oh, they don't have one. That's right. Give Shattenkirk back to uh, the Caps. <laughs> They're definitely going to be a playoff team. Ah, uh, over the league salary cap. Damn, just... Oh, not just over. That's a couple mil over. Okay. Let me see again. Okay. Still over. I'm trying to see if I can find someone where I don't... Would, 
Like, ah. Yeah, these guys don't want to give up a first and they're doing bad. Yeah, I'm trying to find, like, that really weird tweener, like. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, they don't want to give up their first, though, yeah. And it's not, yeah, too much value. Yeah, Dallas would be the best option, but for some reason they don't want to give up this first. And it's got a little bit more value than it needs to, which sucks. Yeah, um. Screw that, then. Columbus, uh, yeah, it's, we don't have too many options here, unfortunately. Like, this is the best, but I'd have to retain, or I'd have to take salary back with, like, no value. Let's try for Boston, though. Let's see if we could take that back and take back, like, a little bit of salary here, but with no value on it. I don't know if there's even something like that exists. They're going to be a great team, but I'd really rather get a first here. Let's see. Here we go. Bale like someone like Bolesky. That wouldn't be too bad. Like, hold on. What's the least amount I could get? Like Hayes, maybe Airhoff. Take Airhoff off. The uh, that might not be enough. Let me try Hayes here. Would that be? That would be enough. But that still uh, that puts us. Yeah, that puts them a bit out of here. And then yeah. No fuck. All right, that sucks. Let's go back to Chicago. I have to take back a bunch more from them. If I do make this trade go through, but I'd really, I like I said, I really would rather get a first here. Oh yeah. Oh, they'd be over cap for next year. It's saying, oh you can't, damn it, you can't screw people up like that anymore. Oh my God, stop paying these guys so much. Kruger, two years left. Well, I would use Kruger. Ooh, still no, that still won't work. Yeah, first is really looking like that's off the table because the teams that could really take them. They don't have the cap space, and they don't want, or they don't want to give up their first. This is this is the best choice for it, actually. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Hold on. Take this first, and we'd have to take back a little bit of salary here, but I'm okay with that. Let me see what they got. Come on, please have something. Yeah. Or oh my God, or pick, making a dumb amount. Okay, maybe a bit less. Uh, I don't know. We can get J Beagle maybe for a year. Is that would be enough? No, it wouldn't. Okay, I think it would have to be Orpic, which they don't want to give up. But I am giving him a defenseman. So, Brooks Orpic, he might retire. He might not. But we can afford him. We're not going to run into issues like that. But ugh, this is going to be tough to get. First, an Orpic for Shattenkirk. Nope. Okay. Uh, I might have to retain, which again, I, it's not the worst idea. We have so much money that I don't think it'll matter, but it is three years, you know? So let me, how much could we, would we have to move this up to make this trade go through? Quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. I don't even think halfway will do it. I still think I'd have to take something back. No, okay. Halfway would do it. Okay. So halfway would do it. Pay three mil for three years. I can afford that. I'm not going to lie. I can't afford that. It's, it's, I, I want a first, man. I really do. So I can get something else besides just this first too. And I will, but yeah, I want a first. I'm going to retain that salary. It makes it go through. They're going to get a sweet deal right here. Let me get that a third from them as well. Yeah. First and a third for Shattenkirk plus retained salary. That should work. Ooh, just a bit low. Well, I could send in a later pick. I'd like that third to be honest. So let's send in a seventh here. Try to make this go through. Yeah. Let's send in a seventh here. So it does, it's a little risky to retain three mil a year for three years, but we're not to the point yet where we're really going to be running into salary trouble. So I think it's, we're going to be, it's going to be easy as hell for us to afford this. And if I can get a first from Shattenkirk instead of like two seconds or a second and a third or something, I would, even if it's going to be a later first, I, later first are not that bad. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. We, that, that'll work. Shattenkirk in a seventh. For a first and a third, not quite, just a bit low, they keep saying. Maybe two sevenths will do it, except they probably don't want anything from next year. They don't, but I'll give it to it anyway. Let's do two sevenths before I have to give in a six. There we go. Ugh, sweeten the value just a touch. Sweeten the value just a touch. I could give a six from next year, or I could just do a three sevens. Three sevens, yeah. Let's, do th let's try out three sevens here. 
Bam, that will work. We'd have to call up Ouellette, but that's all right because we want him to grow. Shattenkirk with retained salary, three sevens for a first and a third. I'm going to be very happy with this. I know we have to retain, but it keeps us above and we can afford it. So I'm going to make that trade. We still get a first. Now, Washington's probably going to have a great year, maybe make a deep playoff run. I'm hoping they don't make a deep playoff run. That's all. I hope they get knocked out of like the first or second round somehow. That would be choice. If they win the cup, that'll kind of suck for what I'm trying to aim for with that pick. But whatever. If it happens, it happens. We could always use that and other value to move up as well to where I want to uh, pick pick someone if there's an elite or something like that. So that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm looking at. Anyway, we have to bring someone up now. Oh yeah, he's gonna be down here. Ooh, let's bring him up. All right, bring him up. And uh, we're going to make, not, I don't know if we'll make any more trades in this video, but Hansel Williams, they're going to be going eventually. Probably Hemsky if I can get anything out of them. We'll trade some people because we have guys who, ooh, 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 sorry. Uh, we have guys that we're going to want to move up and stuff. All right, hold on. All right, so let's throw Ouellette in here. Is he a lefty or a righty? He's a lefty, good. I'm not going to sub in all lines. Let me, let me do these lines real quick and I'll come back. All right, so I got Ouellette in there for all the lines and stuff like that. Now, he's playing in his role. We might get him to grow. Slide him out more. If not, that's still okay. He's still a great top six guy. I'd love to get him, like, 80 overall. That'd be fine. Just right smack on the top six. And, um, yeah, he's got great defensive stats. A bit lower on the discipline side with some higher aggressiveness, so he could take a bit of penalties. But I still think we should be fine. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the AHL. <laughs> My B. But, ooh, yeah, that's right. We don't really have anyone here. All right, I got to do these real quick. All right, AHL lines have been taken care of. NHL lines have been taken care of. So I think we can continue with the tank here and uh, keep checking on some things. But as we make more trades, we'll be calling more guys up. Like uh, Lawton, because I think he's already... Oh, can I not? It won't let me click on stuff. Interesting. Oh, because I'm... Okay, weird. I was guess I was still in the uh, trade screen. Anyway, but... uh. I could probably still check on some of those guys. Hold on. I might want to might want to make some trades maybe before the deadline, although we'll have to see. Hold on. I wanted to check. Can I click on him? It's still not letting me click on him. That's weird. It's not letting me check their info. Huh. All right. I'm going to save this to make sure it doesn't crash real quick. Okay, now I could click on it. Yes, yeah, since he's listed as a fourth liner, we want to call these guys up relatively quick. This guy's listed as depth, so not so much. But a lot, and we want to call up quicker than the other guys. Uh, maybe Wilson, too. And Devontae smith Pelly, same kind of deal. But it's not the hugest thing. Lawton's the biggest priority because he's the youngest. So he's going to be the first guy to come up. Um, then the other guys can chill. But, yeah. Uh, oh, what the hell? Who the hell is this? Get out of here. <laughs> sorry someone's just calling me anyway um yeah maybe even poirier no he's online he's listed as a checker so never mind all right so yeah we're gonna want to call these some of these guys up pretty quickly so trades will be being made not immediately but eventually so that's what i'm thinking right now to bring up some of those guys anyway we, we already prioritized them pretty well Maybe Hemsky can go. Oh my, it's not letting me click again. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. It's not letting me do their player information, so that's weird. Anyway, I'm just going to sim for a bit longer here. I keep trying. I, I don't know. It's just not letting me look at their player information. Whatever. Something weird. Okay, so we're going to keep simming here. Probably going to tank even harder now, which is good. That's what we want. And then uh, if we don't, though, I might make some of those trades a bit earlier. Because I do... Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, we're kind of still hanging around the 500... Uh, mark which is uh, we want to drop below that yeah we're actually still kind of a good team our defensive core is really good that's why <laughs> defensive core is insanely strong yeah we're hovering above 500 here so i might want to think about trading off williams and hansel pretty quickly all right done with that assignment now i think i was doing the double scout trick yeah two two and then here okay so three weeks forwards three weeks defenseman i'm gonna try that out that was suggested to me uh by by some by one of my twitch followers so i'm gonna try that out in this one see if that see if how we see it when it comes to the draft if we have more scouted than we would normally or than i did with the uh vegas one i did all right so there's some losses good but 16 17 and 4 not tanking as hard as we could but we are keeping some people happy so it's not the not terrible but i might want to start losing a bit more 
Yeah, we are. Man, it would have been great to get Nashville's pick. We are second in the division. Second in the division. Not bad. Not, I mean, second. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> second to last is what I meant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we could be doing worse for sure. I might want to give it a bit more time before I make trades. Although, Hansel and Watson name not look like they're doing well. Dan No is actually doing pretty freaking well. So, I wonder what would happen if I played him on the first line. I mean, as a minus, sure, but... He's producing relatively well. Williams, Hemsky, were Hansel isn't doing jack shit. Yeah, Hansel's not doing jack shit. Hemsky's actually de doing a decent job. But Williams, not so much. Okay. Well. How's our goalie situation? How's Corpus Solo doing? Still hasn't grown too much yet. Still doing a little weird. I really hope he gets good, man. I kind of need him to, because I do want to trade Miller at the debt. Who the fuck is this? This is someone else now. I don't even know who these are. But whatever. They can leave a message. Okay, what am I thinking? Um, I've, I lost my train of thought. Fucking A. So I, I'm thinking if I want to trade someone now and tank harder and then trade more people later. I almost want to see how we go a bit more. All right, let me see. Let me see what I could get right now for Hansel or something like that. Hansel and Williams. They still got some decent value on them. Hansel's not too happy. That's all right. Who wants Hansel? Ooh, these guys want Hansel. Struggling Calgary want Hansel. They don't... They can get... Ooh, I can get that second... Definitely get that second. Uh, salary cap. Well, if I retain, they wouldn't. I could easily, I could easily get a second. Probably something else too for Hansel. Let's see. What would that give us pick wise then? If I did that, let me see. I'll retain everything because I want more value. Oh, we already have a few. We don't have. We have three first, two seconds, two thirds, two fourths, two fives, and a six. Okay. Another second may not be too bad. Yeah, and if we could always pick out of order for some things or move the picks back if we want to, you know, get someone who's not going to go for a while. Yeah, we could easily get that second. I want to see if I can get a third in here. Oh, I don't have a third. But maybe a third from next year. Highly doubtful, but I'll try that. Hansel for a second and a third from next year. No. Okay. So let's just get that second and the four. They have a couple fours here. Let's get theirs. Yeah, let's get a second and a four for Hansel and retain salary. There we go. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so roster moves. We do have to bring someone up, so we will. I might hold on to Williams for a bit just because he was producing an okay amount. I want to see if I move Dano up there. I want to give Dano still a chance to uh, succeed. Let's see if I move to test you. Uh, yeah, I, what if I, I kind of don't want to split them up. Well... Yeah, that line is doing really well together. Well, I have to bring someone up, so hold on. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, it might be the smart option just to put Dano up there anyway, yeah. Because he's, he's been producing super well. So let's bring up uh, Smith. Nah, let's bring up Lawton first, yeah. Because, yeah, let's bring up Lawton. Okay, now... So we're probably just going to shift everyone up one. Yeah, I'll move Latestu up. Move up Dano. Give him a chance with these two guys. How are they? They're okay. You know what? Dano still has the best offensive stats. I'm moving him to the first line. All right, so I can move up Pocket. Even though he's listed to be fourth liner, he could, he could tackle that third line role comfortably. Now, that doesn't help out their offensive production, but that's all right. Dano also had power play time, which is the reason he was getting so much. Uh, I think Zingle there is a center. Yes, he is. All right, I'll put Yaskin on his one-time side since we're going to have Lawton coming in here. All right, so we'll do that. I don't think I think I only have a couple things here. We'll just throw in Latestu. Yep, Latestu. Or actually, I want to put Tierney in there. Let's get Tierney in there. Let's give him some extra ice time. Oops, extra special teams. Four-man power play, same thing here. Just throw Tierney. Oh, he's on the point. That's right. So let's throw in Latestu. I put Tierney on the point there for the for the four-man power play, just for shits and giggles. 
Okay, I'm gonna put Dano and then put Tierney in the third. Yep, do that. I want to see if I because Tierney's young. I definitely want to get him better. So we'll switch that and then same thing. Put Tierney in. So there we go. Quick fix right there. Oh, never mind. Oh, this is AHL. Get in there, Sorella. All right. Oh, I should have just skipped this, but I'm I'm already in too deep. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of random guys in here, kind of guys who I know are growing. Like Poirier's growing. Uh, extra attacker here. Lear, yeah. Uh, it's Devonte Smith Pelly. He's kind of growing. Andrew Ghetto, I think, is growing a bit more. Uh, not so much, but I want to see if I can get him decent. Boom. That's what we'll do. Really? Wilson Smith Pelly. Lear. Where's Lear at? There he is. And four man power play. Poirier. Spread out some of the love. Shift these guys up. And stick someone in. Did Giuseppe. I know he's not growing too much anymore, but he could play. And it'll help out Sorella and Roenberg. So there we are. Okay. Usually I'll cut that out. I didn't think it would take too long, but I forgot about the AHL. So apologies for that. All right. So nice trade right there. We're going to sim a bit more though now. And uh, we won't trade Williams quite yet. We're going to give him a chance with uh, hopefully boost up Dan O. And that's the plan. We'll trade him a bit later. Keep going here. Spreading out some of these trades. See what we can get. We might be able to get a second for Williams. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. And uh, after this, I'm going to check out. I should have checked out progress reports. I'll, I'll check that after this. I'll check that in a sec. <laughs> We're actually still kind of winning as this team. It's kind of hilarious. All right. Edit that scouting assignment. So we got forwards done here. Let's do defensemen for three weeks. Sorry if you guys hear some buzzing. They're finished. They're putting their gutters on, finally. <laughs> this roof thing took about a week longer than expected. Okay. All right. So we're starting to lose a bit more, but we are still kind of scoring a lot. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but a decent amount. Even like we had two five to three losses there. That's not bad. Like, you know, two goals for, three goals for. Our offense isn't completely, like, shriveled up and died. But, yeah, as a team, we're not doing great, which is all right. It's okay. We're trying to tank. We're actively trying to tank. Looks like our AHL team is killing it. I just saw that. Okay, now for here, same thing. But I might want to hold them off since it's a B. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess I'll do the same, one, same thing here, three and three. Yeah. Because they're saying that still has 66 guys. There. That's quite a bit. We actually beat Chicago. Pretty hilarious. Uh, so we're 22, 24, and 4 here. Not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. Not really if, Not really caring about the team. Stas Dano still leading in points. He'll probably have a 50-point season. That's about it. I don't see him getting much else. But I do want to see the point totals. Yeah, Williams, yeah, pretty shitty. Shitty point totals all around, but whatever. Tierney, though, starting to jump up. He might get a 20-goal season, which I'd be very, very happy about. I'd be very happy about a 20-goal season from Tierney. And, uh, yeah, Vaughn in pocket. <laughs> 53 Pims, what are you doing? <laughs> nice, hopefully some. Oh, you can check fights, that's right. How many fights are you get into? Come on, pocket. where are you at? Five fights, good boy. Good guy, Pocket. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I love that you can fucking check fights now. That's fantastic. All right, so our defenseman. Some good points out of Vatanen. That's nice. Oh, Brodine, 84. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking sure he didn't start there. He's an 84 now. Beautiful, beautiful. Hell yeah. All right, good. Uh, I don't know if he's... Oh, I'll check. I'll check. I'm, I'm actually just going to wait to the deadline now to check out the uh, growth and stuff. Corpus Allah still hasn't grown yet. A little worried about that, but he might be an off-season grower. Yeah, at this point, I'm in too deep. I'm just going to wait till the deadline to check all the growth. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> okay. And then we'll decide, probably make a bit more trades. Probably trade... You know what? I could trade Williams now because I, we're still kind of hovering above around 500. We're still... We're, we're six in our division. You know what? Yeah, I need to make that trade now. If we want to tank, man, we got we got to tank. We got to start tanking. So, I'm actually going to make that Williams trade before we sim. I got to get Williams out of here. He's, he's too good. He's helping him. He's helping us out too much. 
All right, I can retain on that as well since it's only one year. I won't be able to get too, too much, but I will. Oh, I mean, I'll try. I'll get as much as possible. See what we can get here. What kind of teams are interested? Yeah, just contenders interested. Not even all the contenders. I might look for a tweener contender. Why are these guys? Can I? Ooh. Not doing too good. Can I get a second off? No, there's no way I can get a second off him for this guy. Ooh, actually, actually, I might be able to. Williams with retained salary for a second. I might have to chuck in some later stuff, but I would do this happily. Not quite. Value on the table is too far off. Okay, I do want that second, though. I want that second over other stuff. So let's we have we have a couple fifths here. Let's chuck in Buffalo's fifth since they're a good team. All right, yeah, Williams in a fifth for that second. Ooh, too far off still, damn. Okay, fifth, and what else can we give? I don't have a seventh anymore. I traded that stuff away. I kind of want to hold on to some of these later picks. Just, in, just, you know what? I can, no, I can pick some guys out of order. I just want to, yeah, little amount of value as possible. Fifth and a sixth for that. I want something else. Give me a seventh back if I'm doing that. All right, a second and a seventh for Williams, a fifth and a sixth. Not quite. Okay, remove that. What's it say? Not sufficient at all. I might not be able to get that second. Okay. I do want a second, but probably won't be able to get their second. These guys want to give their first, and they're doing shit. Uh, there's no way I can get that. Yeah, there's way too much value. Minnesota. They can just take this guy. And they want to... Ooh. Oh, wait a sec. They have Anaheim's first. That's way too much value. I'd have to get... Well, I could throw in... You know what? I could throw in a second. I could, th hold on, let's see if we can move up for a first here, they don't want a second, let's give up Chicago's second only in here, oh my god, Williams in a second, with retained salary for that first, we probably have to give up some extra stuff, holy fuck, no we didn't, no, that's, that's amazing, I'm sorry, I don't care that it's Anaheim's, I know they're a good team and all, but that is a really good deal, I maybe could have got a little extra, but I'm just, I'm very surprised that that went through, I'm very surprised that that went through. Anyway, we got to bring up bring up someone else. Actually, we have 18 guys, but is it an extra defenseman? What is it? Oh, yes, Richardson. <laughs> Richardson. No, we got to bring up someone who's growing here. So, Wilson maybe, or Andrew Ghetto, who's listed as depth. Uh, I can wait on Andrew Ghetto and make one more trade or just shift someone out. Yeah, I can wait on Andrew Ghetto. He's, you know, he's 24. Pulock. We could, yeah, I'll probably bring this guy up. We'll, I'll have to scratch someone or, yeah. Maybe, I don't think I'll make another defensive trade. Anyway, Scott Wilson, yeah, let's bring up... He's 25, he's already... Uh, his defensive stats are okay, though. I might, maybe instead, bring up Smith Pelly, who's better, but... He is listed to be a third liner. Yeah, we did just bring up a left winger, Smith Pelly. Yeah, we'll bring back... Well, he's having a great time down there, so... Maybe we do want to bring up Wilson. Or, oh, Poirier is also here now. He's not as good, though. He is younger than Wilson by a couple years, so maybe we want to give him the... And he's a right winger, too. He's younger and only one over... Yeah, actually, I'm going to bring up Poirier. I'm going to bring up Poirier here. All right, now I have to fix a bunch of lines, so I will cut this out. All right, so the lines are taken care of. Here's our team now. Jokin and Dano, Hemsky, uh, Tierney, Latestu, Brown. I got Pocket up here now. And, uh, yeah, we got Yaskin. I'm gonna move him up because he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a sniper with that green top. No oh, wait, wasn't he? Was he always green top nine? Yeah, I think he is. Anyway, I can't click on these guys again for some reason. But I also put Yaskin on the power play on his one-time side, a couple other things. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna give him a shot here. And we're gonna give Poirier a shot up, uh, up here. Anyway, those are gonna be line changes. We have one more month until the deadline. I know we're gonna sim to that right now. Then check, uh, check out more... What am I trying to say? Holy crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, check out the, the growth, progress reports, and then decide about more trades. Like maybe shifting Miller out. I want it, I really want Corpus Allo to grow, but I might just need to throw him in there. You want to give us no? I'm not giving you any. No. Oh, I can go to decline and edit trade block now. That's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, I think I mentioned that in the patches video. But anyway, good. We're losing some more games here. A bit. That's what we want. We want to lose more. Yeah, here we go. Send us further down. We could beat Anaheim, though, just to... No, nah, it doesn't matter. They're going to make the playoffs regardless. So lose to Anaheim, just hopefully someone knocks them out of the playoffs early. What is going on here? All right, so we get shut out by them. Two shutouts in a row, rip. And we come back with a win. 
But yeah, Regina Raptors are doing pretty damn good. Okay, so I think I was here. Yep, only once. So defense, three weeks. All righty. Let's see. 24, 30, and 6. 24, 31, and 6. Stop simulation just in case. Lose to Buffalo. I don't care. Just lose. There we go. 24, 32, and 6. We're going to be falling further down the standings now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, let's check out progress. Where are they? Huh? Oh. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So progress reports. There they are. Okay. So Brodeen. Yeah, Brodeen definitely grew. Let's see. Uh, oh, my goodness. Parier. <laughs> wow. I'm wrong about he, Wow. Okay. He probably grew a bit down there. I should have been tracking that. But still, he's grown. He's grown a bit. Uh, Brodeen's grown a lot. Latestu probably decline. Yeah, he's declining. Uh, Yaskin's grown. Definitely. Hand eye a bit. Um... And then some skating skills. Not too, too much. Uh, Miller's declined. Corpusalo's grown slightly. He is 80 overall right now, though. So that's good news. Hmm. Yeah, I might want to give him more ice time. I might want to trade Miller and give it to Corpusalo and then Subban. Bring up Subban. That's what I'm thinking now. Zingle's growing a tiny bit. Okay. In the system, uh, Johansson grew quite a bit. Rondeberg grew a lot too, and that's not bad. Haberstitch, nice. I just put this guy in here, and he grew. Good. Sorella's growing a bit, but we probably might trade Sorella to 21. It's 59 overall, man. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, I don't think he's going to get, like, he's sure he's top six potential, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know, 21 already, not even 60 overall. Like I think it's very rare that he becomes like a real like a, a top a top guy on our team. We might want to capitalize on that value. But you guys can let me know about that. Della Rose has grown, Paul Mew's grown, hell yeah. Anderson grew a lot. Good. Let's see where this is coming from. Okay. Oh, uh, that's morale growth on offensive awareness, unfortunately. But it's, it's pretty high for where he is. Passing went up, that's good. Um his wrist shot went up a little bit. Defensively, stick checking got better. And he's got some morale growth for his shot blocking. Uh, skating improving. And some of his physical categories. Cool. But good. He's grown. Polka, same thing as grown. 23. So he's done not too, too much time left. But he's, yeah, he's grown really decently. Lilligren, good. That's He's grown. I got him a, quite a bit of ice time too. So he's almost 70 overall, which is good. He's, he's going to take a while to develop most likely. But I think he should be a nice top four guy for us at least. I mean, he's grown relatively well. So Olafson guy's grown as well, and Lear's grown. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How about the goalies? Uh, yeah, Kravchenko's grown slightly. Now, that's without playing. Now, what we we will suffer quite a bit when uh, if and when we move up Subban, but, you know, he's... I don't know, like... He's, I don't, you know, he's... He's got morale growth right now. That's about it. He hasn't grown on his own. He's he's listed to be a backup. So if we want to tank harder, it would make more sense to do that. He's 24. I don't think help like winning the, the Calder Cup will help him out even too much. So I can go with Vavalin and then Kravchenko as our goalies if, if we you know trade Miller. If we decide to do that, which I think we might. He's still 83. We'll still get a bit for him. We could retain on him if we need to. And... Uh, that's just my thoughts on it. Maybe give, you know, throwing Corpus Allo in the starting role, see if we can boost him. That's what I'm thinking of. But those are the progress reports. Not bad. Not bad right now. But yeah, those are my ideas for trades. We could still trade. Uh... Yeah, I'm thinking Ryan Miller. It's got to go. Hemsky don't matter too much. I don't think he'll have even too much value. Yeah, probably not. Every... I think we'll hold on to all of our roster players now. In, uh, defenseman, on the other hand. Maybe we want to move one of them. I don't know. We got that one guy's listed as depth with like red top four potential. Maybe I just keep him where he is. What was his name? Yeah, I don't actually. Yeah, Pew Lock. I'll probably just keep him where he is, kind of. So whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep my defensive core maybe. I could scratch one of them, but I don't want to. No, I, I can't really realistically do that. I'll piss one of them off if I scratch one of them. So yeah, maybe just hold hold on to everything. Keep it going.
But yeah, that goalie idea. Trade Miller, play Corbisalo and Subban. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Now, it does depend on how much value Miller has. Can I get something good from him? Can I get another first? Most likely not. Maybe a second. That's what I'm thinking. Now, he's on the block. And how much value does he have? Yeah, maybe a second for this guy. Maybe a second. And probably a lot of teams aren't going to want... Yeah, no teams actually want Miller. Poor guy. But I'll trade him to a, comp like a contender who may might need a backup. Like, who knows? I don't know. Trade him to someone who's going to be in the playoffs who might need a nice backup here. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, the Penguins don't really have a backup. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just thinking about one of these guys. Younger than Sue, man. They want to give him up. He's backing him up right now. Is he listed as a backup? No, he's listed as, oh, he's listed as a minor starter. Anyway, sorry, I'm kind of thinking out loud. All right, so I think I do want to trade Miller, though. Give him a chance to win. We will maybe have to take back some salary, though, because retaining, it, it, I think we'll still put ourselves under. So we'd have to either sign someone and trade. Oh, that's going to be. Uh, yeah, I'd have to take back salary for in, in the Miller deal. It's unfortunate, but that's how it goes. So I'd have to, I'll have to like do some scouting, see who like really would could benefit from a good backup. Like this could work, you know, maybe I could take back Hammond and I'll just play him in the eight. Actually, that'd be awesome. Take back Hammond. He might've be enough salary to keep us above the line along with retaining on Miller. And we should be, I don't know how many people we retained on Hansel and we retained on Williams. I don't think we retained on anyone else. Did we? So we should still be able to. Yeah. I'm thinking like take back Hammond in a pick or something they don't oh they don't have a second oh rough stuff they didn't want to give it up anyway though yeah fuck that would have been perfect and like retain on this like and we could have kept ourselves easily kept ourselves above that line anyway i'll have to i'll have to theorize a bit more but that that's my a general idea basically yeah we'd have okay too many people with retained salary so we already have done that okay that's fine so that kind of sucks about miller but yeah people may not want to even take that salary back so that's uh that's the thing but it's saying that we'll be in we'll be okay if we make this trade anyway we'll still be right above that line and we won't hit the playoffs so we won't read uh move guys up and down so this is approved but unfortunately they don't have a fucking pick man that would have been great because then we could still help out. Oh, I'll have to think of that. I, I was like, damn, we could still help out our AHL team when we call Subban up. And we'll still be able to get a pick. But, uh, alas, they don't really have any picks. I can get future picks, but I'm not really a fan of that. Anyway, you guys can let me know about that. Let me know what you thought about those trades as well. We're at the bottom of the Well, tied for the bottom of the division with Nashville now. And that's where we want to be. Want to get those high picks. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.